Check it out, folks. Look, keeping up with the theme of barbecue. And listen, today we're doing barbecue baked beans. And guess what? We're doing it on a Rec Tech Dual Fire 1200. Let's get it. Okay, folks. So listen, I'm going to have you guys come on over here and look at these ingredients. Listen, we're just going to do a quick flyover. Don't forget the full ingredient list is on my website. That's smokingandgrillingwithab.com. And that's W-I-T-A-B.com, right? So listen, I do want to pay a little, I want you guys to pay a little attention right here, right? Look, these are my baked beans, right? Out of the can. But you can see they don't have the liquid. I put them in a colander and then I rinse them actually with water and then we finna build everything up and we finna infuse it with with these pellets right here right and this is like the ultimate blend for me and this right now is what i'm stuck on this is white oak red oak and hickory 100 natural in the pellets this right here give it that you know great flavor Okay, so look, I'm about to get started. I just want to let you know, you can see the ingredients right here. This is another thing too. If you have any leftovers, you want to put something in here as far as like your protein, you can do that. Listen, you customize making barbecue baked beans your way. Now, first thing I'm gonna do is, I'm heating up my uh, cast iron skillet. I just want to get my bacon going. Okay, so I'm finishing up my bacon, folks. Listen. This right here is just going to be over the top. And the fact that we infusing it with some great, you know, smoke from the pellet grill, you can't beat that, right? Now, it can be made in the oven. You can do that, but why? You know what I mean? Especially if you're doing other things outside. You know what I mean? Uh, so why not? It's morning time here. Right now, look at what I'm doing. You got to love my job. Okay, so now that I prep, you know, my veggies, right? Obviously, I dice down both of these. These are my onions. I like to give my onions a head start, right? And this will be before I even put in my beef, and you'll see why I do it like this. I'm just going to stage it so you guys can see it. Then when you put your onions in, you know, just the, the water and the acid from the, you know, from the onion will help get off any fine at the bottom. So, and you ask me, I think they need a little bit longer. It depends on how, how far you want to take them down but my bell peppers won't take as long. So that's why I always start with, no matter what I'm doing, I start with my onions first. Now my bell peppers. Now tell me, can y'all see the flavor train coming? All right, folks, so listen, I like where I'm at right now with my veggies. Listen, there's a whole lot of flavor in here, right? So now I'm gonna go ahead and add my 93.7, right? We'll just drop this in just like this. And once we form a little crust on the bottom of it, before I even break it up, I use my masher right here. Then I get in there and do that. You know what I mean? Uh, these right here are must, folks. Look how easy that is. Instead of always using our wooden spoons, you know what I mean, and doing it like that, and especially if you guys got them non-stick pans that have that coating on there, this right here won't scratch or you won't ingest none of the, you won't ingest none of the, that coating, you know, in your body. Now I'm gonna be using my barbecue rub to, you know, give it to seasoning, right? So. Listen, don't forget, on my website, I will have, if you don't have this, which would be amazing if you don't, you know what I mean? But if you don't, I'll have a, you know, an ingredient list for you so you guys can, you know, level it up like you like to or use your favorite seasoning on your end. That's what kind of like makes it the best anyway. You know what I mean? You're using something that you like. Now I'm going to bring my veggies in here and we just continue to cook this down just a little bit more. This is going to be a hearty meal by itself. So this barbecue chicken. Oh, here you go for you rib lovers out there. Barbecue beans, you know, some smoked, you know, ribs, some smoked St. Louis ribs. Oh, and you know what? You can't have barbecue baked beans without having no potato salad. Yes, sir. Now, what I just did right now is I added a pinch of salt. And what you want to do is you want to taste. Taste as you go, folks. This is a good, you know, all of your meat is cooked. You know what I mean? Everything is infused with your veggies and everything. So listen, if you taste it now and it tastes good to you, you know it's going to taste good in there. Listen, this is going to be an infusion of flavor. Okay, so now we just go ahead and add this right to our, you know, our beans. All right, so now we're going to add a little barbecue sauce. Right now, you guys use your favorite barbecue sauce. Uh, I got mine is coming back in. I don't know why it took so long for me to get it back in this year. You know what I mean? Now they were having issues at the, at the, you know, the filler. You know what I mean? But no worries, folks. It'll be here. It'll be here just in time. But right now, I'm gonna say it this way: use your favorite. Right? We're gonna put a little W sauce in here. A 
little mustard and that's yellow mustard that is and then when you say barbecue baked beans if you ask me they got to be sweet right and that's when that brown sugar comes into play start adding some brown sugar to it i'm gonna show you guys something too if you look right here look you see this i talk about this every now and then you soak these in water you know what I mean? Then you put it in, you like, yo, yo, anything that could like possibly like get hard, especially with this brown sugar, right? Drop this in here and look how moist this is. It just stays moist, right? Keep your brown sugar from, you know, clumping up, making them hard pieces, all of that. Then you just want to give it a mix, right? Make sure you mix it thoroughly because you got mustard. You shouldn't see none of the mustard, none of it. Okay, folks, now take a look at that right there. I just tasted some of this, and listen, when I tell you I got the sauce right, I got it right. Only thing left to do is, now this right here is like a little level up for you. For those of you guys that want to like take it all the way to the top, some of y'all not going to be able to see it visually because your brain going to tell you like, I don't know. But listen, AB has never steered you wrong. You know what I mean? So only thing I'm going to do right now is add this, and then I'm going to add a little bit of that to it, and that's going to be like the, the thing. Now look, when I'm chopping my bacon, I like to see my bacon, right? So this right here is good. Right, I'm gonna reserve a couple of pieces back, you know, just to put a little topping on it. After, you know, mixing the bacon in, look, you can see the bacon. You guys can put as much in here as you'd like, but don't forget you're gonna have other proteins, you know what I mean? Uh, you, This right here can quickly become the star of this show, folks. You know what I mean? They, so now I'm gonna take this, I'm not gonna use this whole can. I just, you put a little bit of this in here like that. So like I said, some of y'all not gonna be able to see it, but trust me, folks this right here and then when you make it listen because some of you guys go out there and you know you actually follow these recipes the way i get you know i give them to you right i want you to come back and let me know what you think and talk to the rest of the non-believers folks right so that's about a half a can and that's all we need and then for the last bit we finna put this in the Rectech dual fire 1200 we're gonna give it that infusion of that white oak red oak and hickory Okay, so listen, I put it in, I'm gonna go about 250. We just wanna heat this up, get it nice and, you know, moving around and, and viable and everything to like cook together. I'm only gonna go in here for about an hour and those will be ready. So don't forget, that'll be uh, crucial for you guys when you're out there cooking and you're barbecuing so you can get your timing right. You wanna have hot food, one hour and you're straight. Okay, folks, so now it's time to get up close and personal with it, right? So listen, I want you to pay attention to this right here. Look at the thickness. If this ain't what you want, I don't know what it is. Now look, sometimes you guys might want it to be a little bit more on the, you know, I guess loose side, so you can just add a little bit more of your favorite barbecue sauce to it, right? You know what I mean? You can't ha never have too much of that, right? But you ask me right here, I told you guys this was gonna be hearty. Look at that, ground beef and all of that. Don't forget the full ingredient list will be on my website. Again, that's smokingandgrillingwithab.com and that's W-I-T-A-B.com. Now, only thing left to do is to go ahead and hit it, right? Look, I'm gonna get a piece of this bacon. You know what I mean? Look at that right there. Ooh, wee. Oh, I can't even talk. Talking about being at a loss of words. Listen, as soon as you go ahead and put that spoon right next to your mouth, you can inhale that smoky flavor from this pellet grill right here. Listen, my Rec Tech Dual Fire 1200, that right there is the way to go, folks. And listen, another thing too, when I keep saying Dual Fire, listen, you got the two zones. You know what I mean? Hey, listen, we can sear, do whatever we want on this side, and control another temp on that side. Hey, real simple. Talk to me down in the uh, comment section below. Let me know what you guys think about this or tell me what is your favorite recipe and what would you do to level this up? Now, if you're new to my channel, you know what to do. Don't forget to like, smash that subscribe button and tell everybody out there, there's a channel out here to simplify these recipes and taking a mystery out of cooking. Listen, I'm finna run in the house, open up the refrigerator and get that potato salad and we finna do that combo bite. I'm out, peace.